Hey guys, this is the second time I have seen this issue and thought that I would share it with you. Notice turning on and off the key that the fuel and volts backing is moving up and down. This affects the fuel gauge and the volts gauge from reading correctly. This is an easy fix and I will show you how to fix it right now. Use a Torx driver to remove the outer screws on the cluster face first. Now remove the black plate from it. Now, as you see, you'll be able to tell that the fuel and the volts gauge actually moves. I don't need to lift this up. I forgot about that. You can leave it in there. If you can, look and see how it moves up and down. If you've ever pulled one of these apart, you'll see how the needles are made. They have a built up part on one side of it. When the fuel gauge gets turned on, it will actually lift and lower that cluster piece if it's too far down. That's what the problem was. And you cannot get a good reading on your fuel gauge or on your volts gauge. There is a hole right here that I'm putting the screwdriver into. That's actually the lineup hole. Now I'm just going to use clear silicone on it. I'm going to put some on the bottom of it. Now this is between the black film and the plastic backing. Put a little bit right here at the bottom. Now all this is going to do is it's going to glue it back into place. You do not want to use super glue on this because if you screw up, you just wasted your uh, gauges. You have to be able to move it around to get it set into place. Besides that, super glue sometimes will cause plastic to melt, and you don't want to do that to this. Now, as you see, the gauges move freely now, and I'm checking the hole in it, and it is fine. That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Take care.